Hi guys, and welcome to Faye Fitness. Um, today we're gonna to be continuing with our office workout series, um, kickboxing edition. And today we're going to get into the one-two punches and learn how to do those. So if you are interested in seeing what that's like, go ahead and stay tuned. Thank you so much. <laughs> So as you saw in the intro, we are going to be talking about our one-two punches today um, for kickboxing. Now these are just your really basic punches that will probably be the first thing you learn if you were to go to an actual kickboxing gym. Um, so I'm going to teach you the style that my Sifu used to teach me, um, but please be aware that other facilities may use different techniques or may use different verbiage in portraying points as opposed to what I'm going to present today. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them as best I can. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, as in the last video, we'll get in our nice fighting stance here. So again, not 180 degrees, but this nice um, 45 degree angle shear. Our feet are in that nice box formation. Hands are up, we're a little hunched over. Pinkies are up, if that helps you remember to keep the, um, the pinkies facing your opponent, or in this case, the wall um, will be my opponent for this set of exercises. And so we're gonna start with the one punch. And the one in my kickboxing gym is the left hand. So anything that's an odd number will always be the left side of my body. Anything that's an even number will be the right side of my body. So just to kind of keep that in reference moving forward. So for a one punch, you want to keep your knuckles facing the ceiling as you extend your arm, and then right before you would make contact, say with the bag, your opponent, or even just in this case the air, you wanna rotate it over to where the knuckles will face whatever that object would be. And try not to extend your arm all the way. Um, that'll actually hurt your elbow and that joint if you were making impact with something. For shadow boxing, we have a little bit more wiggle room, um, but if you're actually going to be fighting, whether it be the bag, an opponent, um, or even a wooden um, board or something, you definitely don't want to cause injury to this joint, so just keep it a little loose and relaxed. Um, and again, something to think about with these one punches is they're not power hits. These are things where you mainly want to aim at your opponent's face to just kind of keep them on their toes, keep them a little bit disoriented. Um, so even if you don't extend the arm all the way um, and it stays a little bit bent, that's fine. Because normally you will use these for close-ups. Uh, you really want to get up in someone's business and give them a few punches. Or if you're feeling threatened or kind of cornered, you'll use your one punches to back away from that situation and give yourself some space. Um, so again, do this from the side. You're gonna keep your knuckles up until right before you make contact and then swap them over to where they're facing your opponent. And again, always bring your hands back as quickly as possible to protect your face. So just come out and then in out and then in and it's okay to get this kind of like torso movement of as i'm hitting i'm leaning forward a little bit it's totally fine out and then forward out and then forward because eventually when you're fighting another human you're going to have a moving target and so if your target is moving back say you've got them on um the defensive you're going to want to step into this one punch with your left leg. So you're really gonna wanna use this for advancing or conversely, say I'm feeling threatened. I can use my right leg to move backwards first and then throw my punch out at the same time of saying, hey, I need some more space. Okay, so that's the one punch. Now let's move into the number two. Okay guys, so for our number two punch, this is gonna be our power punch. So like we said before, the ones are just really kind of keeping people on their toes. You're keeping them guessing, disoriented. The two is when you're really gonna come and pack that punch. Um, this is also a more long range punch. As you can see, I get to extend my arm and move my abdominal cavity 
at the same time so that I'm really kind of getting up in someone's business. Um, so the best thing to think about when you're doing a two is think about from your hip to your shoulder as all one unit. And we're gonna lead with this unit. So we've got our fighting stance, our right leg is back, and we're gonna use that to kind of propel us forward. So you, I'm gonna do this in slow motion. You want the hip and the shoulder to move forward first and then followed by the fist. So what I see a lot of people doing who are new at, at my kickboxing gym is they lead with this fist and then if it's appropriate, they'll move their hip too, but we actually want to use this first to kind of propel us forward and give us that nice extra strength um, behind our punch. The thing you don't want to do is really move your arm back and do some weird punch like that. Um, what my CEO did with us when we were first starting out is he would come up behind us and keep his hands on our elbows so that we couldn't move them back to try to get more power to our punches. So it, it's all going to come from this nice static position. Moving this first, followed by the fist. just focus on getting this to move together first, followed by the fist and the arm. So, and really if you just want to practice, then you can actually go quite fast. So, um, and I would just shadow box that until you feel comfortable. The best way to do this is actually in front of a mirror. Um, it might feel a little silly at first, but It'll just kind of get you more used to what it looks like and what it should feel like. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you next time where we talk about our um, three fours. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.